This is Dr. Stephen Potts in Brentwood, Tennessee. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about capturing a bite for a dental sleep apnea appliance. You know, dental sleep medicine has grown so rapidly in uh, our field lately, and several things we want to look at. Uh, we're not talking about the actual impression material, but the Honey Gum, Gum Pro is very good for capturing a uh, polyvinyl if you're doing polyvinyl impressions to get the accuracy and be sure to capture the second molars if you do that. We're going to talk a little bit about the Obite and also about the Luxabite. So dealing with a digital impression or traditional, we like to mark the midlines first, and that's what we're doing here on this patient, is marking the midlines because you want the midline of the appliances to line up to be the same as it is when their central conclusion bite is like you see here. So if you're doing a digital bite, and again, there's several ways we can do this, um, you, Typically, using a George gauge is probably one of the more popular ways. There's many methods to taking a, a bite for your dental sleep uh, apnea appliance. But using the George gauge here and using the uh, O-bite, you can put a little bit around the anterior, as you're seeing here, and a little bit on the second molars to make more of a tripod. And that's what you'll put a little bit back there. Just enough. You don't want to cover enough to lock into any undercuts. Just enough to get an indentation. We're going to place this in the mouth and make sure the midlines are lined up the way they should be. This sets pretty quickly. I would definitely take the patient's lips and kind of fold them just to get enough indentation of the teeth there. And you can see there to the bite that you recorded. And again, please don't use too much. You don't want to have to be locking this in because it's the nice thing about the uh, Luxabite as well as the uh, Obite is it's very uh, rigid, which is good because you want a stable bite to, to mount your cast or to your uh, digital bite here as well. So you want something that's going to be rigid. You can trim it with a blade or you can trim it with a burr it's that rigid which is good because then you know you got some stability in whatever bite you're trying to capture so you can see as we remove this you can look here and you can see the indentations of the teeth and the second molar and the front six teeth through the cuspids uh, and now we're going to disassemble this and place this to do a scan bite of a digital impression and so from there uh, it makes it very easy because you got a stable bite. You got the second molars being stable as well. So we take the George gauge off. We place the the bite back in. And again, this is the O bite here. And we can take the scanner and make sure the patient holds their teeth together and not open. And you'll see. I'm going to try to focus more on the screen over here if I can. Um, and you can see the bite is. Uh, starting to come together she's captured the bite here and she'll keep the teeth together and do the same thing on the other side and once that's captured then we have our bite here and you can see we got it captured so it makes a very stable way to do this and again you can um, if you're doing obviously scans you would email this to the dental laboratory if you're doing a full bite you would only thing you would do is fill in the the first molars and premolars as well with that and the same principle works with dealing with the luxabite it's a little bit more rigid another way you can do this is just put it on the front six teeth you don't even have to do the molars and the reason i know is i've done probably hundreds if not close to thousands of bites this way and this has been very accurate some people feel like it's, they feel more comfortable catching the second molars, but I've done it both ways, and I can't tell any difference. So same thing, we won't scan her bite again, but you would do this here with the Luxabite. You have them bite down and hold that. Again, uh, not using anything, just enough to cover the incisal edges or the uh, occlusal edges of the posterior teeth. You can easily add to this. There's a little bit more working time with the Luxabite uh, if you're doing it for crowning bridge or some other reason you're using that for. Again, um, just being careful not to put too much in because it's a great material. It's rigid, so you don't want anything locking into place too much here. But this is a very predictable way to take a bite for a dental sleep appliance with a scan bite with a George gauge either capturing the, the front six teeth only or the front six and the molars as well. And that's a, a predictable way to do that.